we got to be quick. Yes. We're running late for the train. Um, we're off to Falkland in Scotland in the Kingdom of Fife. Yes, we're about to go on a journey around Scotland, Ireland and Wales. Yeah. So we're on the train up to Edinburgh now, going to Falkland, going to see Falkland Palace, which is where some of the kings were. Um, we're going to climb the Lomond Hills, which are the highest in Fife. They look um, really cool. Yeah, we can see a good view of the Firth and Forth and to the north into the Highlands. And we go over the um, Fourth Bridge. I'm really keen yeah, for that on the yeah. train, so be good. Anyway, Ooh, we'll see you soon. Gotta see you run. Soon. Bye. Bye. So um, we've made it to Edinburgh, we've got a little bit extra time than we planned for so we're walking to a place called Dean's Village, or Dean Village. Dean Village I think. Which um, we haven't been to before, we've been to Edinburgh a few times now and this place looks pretty cool so we're gonna go and have a look at that and um, then maybe get a coffee or something and have a look hopefully, around. Hopefully get a coffee at Southern Cross Cafe which is but as yeah, has been our favourite kind of place to go for coffee and breakfast and stuff like that when we've it's been lovely. to Edinburgh. Really good coffee. Which yeah, is great always, coffee. Always a bonus. I think we're a bit biased because it's called Southern Cross Cafe. Yeah. <laughs> From Australia. We, so. we feel like it's home. Um, leading to Dean Village. Alright. On the way. Bells. So this is looking super cute already. There's like, you can hear the flowing water. Down there. Cute little houses over there. Yeah, I'm keen. Yeah, me too. Oh, look at those beautiful flowers. It's amazing, isn't it? It's beautiful. So we are here in Dean Village um, at the Water of Leith walkway entrance at a tiny little bridge and it's just um, just adorable. Trickling water, cute little like houses and everything. I mean Edinburgh is beautiful enough but you wouldn't, I don't know, you wouldn't think this was here would you? No, no it's super cute. It, you feel like you're in like a little, I don't know, in the past. Yeah, straight into point. the bars. Yeah. It's on the other side of the um, modern part of Edinburgh too. It's not where Old Town is. So. Yeah. Just a lovely. Little, a little hidden gem, I would say. So we're off to Old Town now to crack on. Yep. See you soon. <laughs> Just in my 
moment you're about to get a view of Edinburgh Castle from the underneath side of it. <laughs> <laughs> um, and Edinburgh Castle is where the Scottish Crown Jewels are, which is pretty cool. You also find the Scottish Crown Jewels under any kilt. <laughs> From where we are, we've got Prince's Street Garden that way. Sorry. From where we are, we've got Prince's Street Garden that way and Edinburgh Castle above us. And we're about to walk up that way, kind of along the side and bottom of the castle and end up top of the Royal Mile, which would be pretty cool. You ready? Yep. Let's go. Wait. What? Just one more thing. So, it pays to read the little signs and stuff of information that you see around. The one behind us, there's a statue of the dog and um, found out that Edinburgh is a twin city with San Diego in the United States because um, Edinburgh has a famous dog called Greyfriars Bobby. The story of him is that um, his owner died and he stayed at his owner's side pretty much at his grave in the graveyard for a really long time. Um, basically for longer than a dog lives um, and he became a bit of a myth and a legend around Edinburgh. And um, San Diego? Yeah. <laughs> San Diego has a um, another famous dog. I don't know the story of that one, but apparently because of the two dogs, the cities are sister cities. Uh, Arthur's seat. Yeah. And if you can see out ahead. Just behind us all that way is Arthur's seat. It's got a pretty good view of all over Edinburgh. We climbed it last time we were here. It's great. A bit harder than the walk we're doing now, but we didn't have huge backpacks last time. <laughs> This is Edinburgh Castle from the front. We are, um, we just climbed a heap of stairs and really puffed. The, um, the seats here are for the uh, Royal Edinburgh military tattoo, um, which is a big kind of show that they put on. Um, the castle itself was the main seat of Scotland for a really long time. Um, had a heap of the Stuart kings and was part of the Jacobite uprising and stuff like that. It's got a really cool history. Um, it's great if you go inside too. We've both been inside. Um, it's really, really interesting, but we're not going in today because we're in a bit of a rush. Just thought we'd show it to you now. We're running a bit late now, so we've got to kind of go super fast. We're at the top of the Royal Mile, heading down the Royal Mile. Um, this direction goes towards uh, Hollywood House Palace. Um, this is oh, what's this church called again? I can't remember. The name's probably on it. Um, so the Royal Mile runs from Edinburgh Castle down to the Palace of Holyrood House, and it's the centre of Edinburgh Old Town. keep talking about the best places that we've visited and every place is different and individual and great in its own way but we just keep coming back to Edinburgh and Scotland it's just the Highlands as well are just breathtaking and yeah. there's something magical and special about all of it yeah, we it just really we really really love it that's awesome I love 
like the street performers and traditional Scottish music is awesome. Giles Kirk. That's where we are. And you're about to witness something special. Joy's gonna have good luck for the rest of the summer. If I can get to it, it looks like there's people crowding around. gives you good luck apparently and um, the last time I was here or the first time actually the both of us were here um, I was up for a big job interview I did that right before the interview and I got the job <laughs> so pretty happy about that so it definitely works yeah it definitely works confirmed based on Diagon Alley. Oh. Yeah. Other way around. The Diagon Alley is meant to be based on. <laughs> but the, um, the Edinburgh one's really, really cool. And we would have liked to have gone there again, but we've been there a heap of times. Um, and we've got a train to catch, so we just keep, keep going. Get a quick coffee and then get back to it. Just love the view straight down to the Firth of Force. You can see the ocean. So, Southern Cross Cafe, our favourite one is on Coburn Street, which also looks a little bit like Diagon Alley. <laughs> Yeah, it's worth it's, it's worth a worth a look if you come here. We go on the train and it's boiling. We're both in jeans, we should be naked. <laughs> no. It's so we be in shorts or something. It's, it's so hot. For Scotland, um, yeah, yeah. I, I wouldn't have picked it to be this hot. Um, dripping. It's like it's kinda of like we're back in Australia. Yeah, it's, it's, actually, it's nuts. I wonder what the temperature is. I checked, it's only twenty one degrees. Um, really? but it feels like it's about thirty. Um, Maybe we've acclimatised a bit too much, but yeah, yeah, I feel really hot. But we've got um, we've got seats on the coast side this time, so hopefully we'll get a bit of a better view of um of the ocean and the seaside. So it should be good. Are we gonna go over the Fourth Bridge? Oh yeah, Fourth Bridge coming up. Oh, a guy in a kilt. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that must, guys in kilts. must be stag a stag dude. Do. Or no, I reckon that's that would be a wedding. Yeah, it would be actually. A Scottish wedding. Um, yeah, so next up is Fourth Bridge. I'm really keen for that. Try and get a few photos and some footage or something. We're not um, stopping, so we'll be, we'll be on the train. On the train. Um, 
and we haven't been on this train journey before. We've done the one up to Edinburgh a few times, but this one's all new, so new towns, new coastside to see. Looking forward to it. See you soon. see them because the cute little houses are everywhere but I'm um, gonna go off for a big walk we've just had a shower and a change after we checked into our um, Airbnb and by the way is this the one this is the Airbnb we're staying at tomorrow night. tomorrow night I think this might have been the one where yeah. they um where he saw where they stayed I feel like it's that window or that that, that window up there I'm gonna have to look at the um anyway we're <laughs> off for a walk have a good one He had the cap on, silly boy. Sorry, that was bad. I'm a silly boy. <laughs> so that's what we're climbing behind us. Lomond um, Hills. East Lomond Hill, I think it is. Yeah. Um, going for a bit of explore, should be good. It pulls it away from my underarms, it's scratching yeah. my skin. <laughs> Do they? Yeah, my boobs look really weird now because I got this strap across them that's pulling them in. Just thought you'd like to know. <laughs> um, Things that shouldn't be caught on camera. So, so, I think we've decided not to go up East Lomond Hill to the peak today. Um, I think we'll get that tomorrow morning. There's two, two nice walks that they had on a map. One goes around a few waterfalls and the other one goes through some nice houses or something with some architecture, I'm not fully sure. But we're gonna do both of them now. Um, and just see how it goes. Yeah. Hopefully we'll do the big hill tomorrow after we have a nice breakfast. So we'll fill you in on how that one is. This is um, the walk to Masby Den. Um, it's through kind of forest land and it's really, really beautiful. It's like a little, little fairy den, fairy glen. <laughs> What's the right word? I don't 
Good bird. Anyway, it's like a little fairy. Fairy uh, woods. <laughs> oh, little gnome house in there. <laughs> you gonna come across? Yep. Be careful. It's better when you go fast. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, it doesn't look too bad. It gets really, really wobbly in the middle. Yeah, and it was way higher than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> now we have to go back. I thought I'd be fine. Can you film me going back? Yeah. Look, oh, we, sorry. You Can you camera? take this camera? <laughs> oh, you got boogers up your nose. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Here we go. Oh, I don't know if you should point it yourself. You'll need to look where you're going. I'm what was saying here we go. Oh man. I don't like where the knobbly bits are. It's steadier it's, if you go faster. Yep, no, but it's steadier on this side. As when I was walking out, as soon as I got about halfway, the rest of it right to the end was super wobbly. And then once you get over that like first knobbly bit there, it gets way more steady. Yeah, but it's also steadier if you go faster. Yes. We're all going on a summer holiday Maybe that's where it turns around and comes back Maybe I wonder if we'll see any creatures in here I want to see a red squirrel I really want to see a red squirrel Do you know the actual number? Oh look at this we're coming up to Do you know the actual number of red squir squirrels that are left? No I have no idea It's not many it's yeah, really sad, up. hey? Yeah, it is really sad. That is really spooky. Whoa. So, we're about to go into that dark abyss. Let's go. See you on the other side. Whoa. 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 Well, do you have your phone out? No. <laughs> oh my god, I'm terrified. So, in Australia, 
If I was to do that, I uh, know I wouldn't go through a place like that in the bush because I'd be like, <laughs> what snake am I going to meet? Snakes and spiders and everything. Actually, it's not that bad. <laughs> I'm giving a bad name, but I mean, you are way more likely to just come across a random snake. cool yeah it was a bit freaky it was so freaky i actually couldn't see in front of myself for a minute didn't either when when it forks like yeah. when it goes to the left um it was pitch black and yeah. i just had to kind of keep going and then i saw the light i could see you that's all right that's cool down there oh, i love the i love the pine trees I'm going to Masby Den. Masby Den? Yeah. Okay. Where are you going? I don't know, I'm just following the path. I'm going to Masby Den. Yeah, how do you know all these things? I'm smart. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. So this is actually what I have been thinking about and imagining since we entered these woods and I've just spotted it. Wild strawberries. Like I, I didn't even say it to Jory but I've been thinking about it and there's this book um, called The Enchanted Forest that I loved as a little girl and she went out into the woods and picked fresh berries I think that yeah they were strawberries the little ones over here. and so I just couldn't stop thinking about finding berries in here and I've just found them these ones are super red So happy right now. It's like childhood fantasies or dreams coming true. <laughs> Oi. This is stunning. A big old rock. One to the collection. Happy? Yep, you want to do one? No. 
That's one for just us. I've got a coin here for you. Oh, okay. Go on. Do it close to mine. Don't smash your fingers like I did. Is this that one yours or this yep. one? That, that one. one. How do I do it? I put it between my two fingers so that my fingers were flat. Yeah, and smashed it. can't smash it in. Do you want me to smash it in for you? You can do it now. I know you can. I don't want to smash my finger. No, it's just smash it in now hard. That's the way. Yeah. There she goes. Like That's two peas two. in a pod. How cute! Like two coins in tree. That was lame. So that was Maz Den. That is. Is. Or one of them, because there's a there's another waterfall that um, we'll get to. We're a bit worried because it's been really dry here and really, really hot. And in Australia when it's like this, the waterfalls just don't run. They, they all dry up. I thought I thought for sure it would dry up, but it's lovely, it's beautiful. We um we just went over there and washed our face while we look a bit fresh. Washed our face in the beautiful Running water, had a little sip. Lovely. That's gorgeous. <laughs> That's really cool. And of course there's Lisa down there. Disgusting. So yeah, maybe this is Mazfeed End. We don't know. Second waterfall though, so this is it. I think um, I think we loop around here to go back. I think that's probably going to be it for um, it for the day. Maybe yeah. find a cozy pub for some dinner. We'll see how it goes. There's strawberries everywhere. It's amazing. <laughs> oh. Wow.
It's gorgeous. So it's pretty cool. Underneath the waterfall. I think this is where the fairies live. Definitely. <laughs> it's just stunning. It's like a cave. Yeah. Secret place under All the waterfall. The yeah. Just stunning. Look at that! <sighs> That's what we're climbing tomorrow, isn't it? Really happy with what we did today, though. So that up there is what we're climbing tomorrow. Pretty keen. It's East Lomond, isn't it? Yep. East Lomond. Um, Beautiful. Yeah. It looks steep. <laughs> it's kind of like bush. It's kind of like pop iris and then bush. Kind of, like, it reminds me of Australia. Yeah. Else that me too. That's what I was getting at, but I couldn't get the words out because I'm in a bit of disbelief. But Australia has this type of um, bush. Yeah, it's true. Hey. Just want to explore I'll everything. Check it out. Little mini Scottish thistle. Scottish thistle. What's your name? Jory. Jory. Thorid and Frostbeard. Thorid and Frostbeard. But I think he's Scandinavian. <laughs> yeah. He's Scandinavian with a Scottish accent, though. <laughs> That's a bit weird. gadgets and <laughs> well yeah <laughs> you know like it's just it's just nice to be away from it's beautiful to put down the everything. gadgets at times too I think Maybe that's important know. what a walk yeah it was really lovely it kind of started as forest woodland kind of feel and then towards the end morphed into like a bush bit of bushy type of area stuff. and then back into woods yeah and the waterfalls were stunning as yeah. well we have um, waterfalls yeah the last one was nuts yeah was I, really, I really actually liked the first one like the look of it and like going down and washing my face in that waterfall and but then the second one the last one you could see it. it was beautiful from the front but it was only one stream of water but it was beautiful yeah. but then it was like the cave kind of area behind it and you could walk through there so that was it was the cave thing that made it yeah for sure it just, yeah, i really liked that and all the moss and the ferns and stuff yeah. it was, it was amazing um we've decided that we're going straight to the pub now um, hungry get some dinner um i'm hoping they have agus i love agus, agus. Haggis and a whiskey tonight, I think. I don't know what back I'm in Scotland. Have. I'm vegetarian, so it's always um, interesting what I find. Yeah, but chips. Yeah. <laughs> or mac and cheese is uh, often uh, the option. Mac and cheese is a big one. Um, they might have risotto. Risotto is a big one as well. <laughs> yeah, it is. The vegetarian standard options. Some places do veggie haggis, don't they? Yeah, they but do. It's a pretty small town here. Well, um, 
We've only so had we'll veggie say, haggis in Edinburgh, though. We never had it anywhere in the Highlands or anything. Yeah. So, um, but we'll see. Whatever yeah. it is, I'm famished, so I'm keen. Yeah, me too. Cheers. And I think probably. Oh, sorry, oh. I just I was just gonna say bye because I don't know whether we'll be back again tonight. Yeah, I'll just say bye now too. Um, yeah, what, what what a day! Yeah. It's been it's been absolutely amazing. Thanks for following along. Um, mm -hmm. Like and subscribe as always. We're um we're gonna be trying to do these ones every day. We'll see how that goes. Um, it takes a bit of a time to edit them all together because there's a heap that goes into them. Um, and we're just kind of getting the hang of it. Yeah, so. we've just started, so we'll see how it goes. But let us know if you like. Yeah, the if, you, if, if you have any tips for like Scotland and Ireland and Wales, let us know in the comments because yeah. um, we'd love to know because we're doing a big trip around them at the moment. So we'll be on the road for about two weeks, two and a half weeks. Yeah. So any cool or secret hidden gems or anything would be awesome. We'd love to know. To know. That. All right. Anyway, thanks for keeping up. Mwah. Have a good one. See ya.